Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. All right, time now is 617 on this Tuesday, the day after the eclipse. And this morning, the roads looking nice and clear. Major traffic jams to see an incredible sight, Ben, no doubt. It was, yeah, the traffic was really bad yesterday, Lauren, especially in 89. We saw the backup basically from Williston mm. all the way to Lebanon, Crazy. New Hampshire, and then beyond. Yeah. Your folks were actually in town yesterday. You said it took them a while to get back, Eight right? Eight and a half hours. They didn't get home until 1230 and this how, morning. How long of a drive is that usually? It's usually three. Whew. There you go. Wow, that is nuts, but yeah. a worthwhile Worth sight. Yes. Uh, that's what we've heard from everybody who's had to do the drive so far. And another beautiful sight this morning, the sunrise over Plattsburgh. You can see it reflecting off of Lake Champlain. The start of a beautiful Tuesday around our region. Why not? One more shot for you, North Hero. The Heroes Welcome General Store. A stunner of a start there in the Champlain Islands. Plan for today has us starting with sunshine and we'll mix in a few clouds as the day goes on. Temperatures well into the 60s, a light wind out of the north. Enjoy it because the rest of the week will have clouds and showers each day all the way through the weekend, at least part of it. The heaviest of the rain is likely on Friday and on that day we'll have to watch for a combination of snow melt and rising rivers for a minor flood threat. More on that in just a second. Storm Tracker in the meantime has us quiet locally, but all of this moisture in the southern part of the country, that's what becomes the big system that arrives on Friday and really kicks off our stretch of unsettled weather as well. So again, no problems this morning. If you're looking to hit the road, weather will not be a concern. Temperatures starting off in the 20s and 30s, so you may need an extra layer or two at least early, but plan to shed that layer by the time even mid morning rolls around. We quickly rise into the 50s and eventually 60s this afternoon, mostly sunny, then a few clouds getting here for the evening. For tomorrow, we'll find a few showers first thing in the morning, maybe even a rumble of thunder with how mild it's been. And throughout the day, we'll just have on and off showers. It's not really a pouring rain steadily coming out of the sky for Wednesday, just sort of the start of a gloomier stretch here. Thursday, meanwhile, a, a bigger band of rain coming through, especially in the morning, early afternoon. And that is the precursor to the bigger rainstorm on Friday, an area of low pressure tracking well to our west. That is a very warm storm track for us and it looks like a very windy system as well. The classic southeasterly wind direction that causes some issues in the mountains. So that's something we'll have to watch closely and the rain continuing all the way into Saturday. So it's still a few days out, but we'll call it medium impact for now. It's not a ton of rain. I don't think many of us get over an inch total, but with how much snow we have in the mountains, how warm it's going to be, highs in the 60s on the day of this storm, I just think we'll see some rivers coming up quite a bit, especially the vulnerable ones. The Otter Creek, Center Rutland, the Aw Sable River, all things to track as we move through the rest of the week. So impact weather to cover us all the way through Saturday and then a little bit of sunshine mixing in Sunday, but it's not until early next week that we see more sun mixing in. Marissa?